ladies and gentlemen, uh, sometimes you think you've seen it all when it comes to Minecraft. You think you've witnessed the pinnacle of insanity with these creations. And then someone just comes along and they blow it all out of the water. They do something that, that you just you didn't think was ever going to be possible. And this is one of those instances. This is Pokemon uh, in Minecraft, but not like Pixelmon, not like Pixelmon at all. This is a full on Game Boy Advance here with Pokemon on it. It's a work in progress. It's early stages, but it's controllable uh, Pokemon on said Game Boy Advance. Why don't why don't we play it and uh, just just blow some minds here? Let's just blow some minds. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's just start the game. Let's just start the game. So right here, I'm gonna go into F1 and uh, just use WASD and um, move our guy around in in Pokemon. Yeah. What's up, dude? You wanna you wanna walk into the the Pokemart? Yeah. Why not? Let's just go on into the into the Pokemart. Here we are in the in the Pokemart, and this is all taking place on the the Game Boy Advance screen in front of me. And I want to add, and we'll, we'll get to the, the nitty gritty of this shortly, but like these are all blocks that are just being updated every time that I do a WASD. Like they're actually blocks that are being copy pasted with structure blocks on this massive screen that's in front of me. And oh my goodness, is it mental. I can hit space to interact with things. Again, it's a work in progress, so there's no actual like back and forth interaction on things, but I know the guy's working on it because, oh wow, oh wow. Oh wow, it's okay. Let's just exit the Pokemart. We're good. We're good. We'll we'll wander around a little bit more in in the city. How about we head on over to uh to the the Pokemon Center? I don't believe you can access your inventory yet and check out your Pokemon and stuff. So there's nothing really to to do in here. But you can just check out what it looks like and just be amazed that that you can navigate around in the town in the Pokemon Center. That you can stand on the entrance to the door and the exit and you can navigate between these different areas of the map and and stuff. And hey, what's up? Can I, can I heal my Pokemon? It's in progress, you know? It is what it is. I can't go up the escalator yet. I wandered around the map a little bit as I was just checking this out. My mind being blown before actually going to record this thing. Can't interact with the, the Pokeball over there. It just says, again, work in progress, but still, why don't we go out into, into the little forest area? He said the Pokemon battles are being worked on, which leads me to believe that it's something that could potentially be possible down the road that I could walk into these bushes and I could run into a Pokemon and and then I could have a battle in Minecraft. Can't read the sign. It's in progress. The sign just, no, no, no. The sign just says in progress. So you can read signs. That's a fully functioning feature at the moment. I can wander around this forest area and I just, I don't even, I don't even know. What do you, what do you do anymore? What do you do anymore? What? I remember there was once a time when I made like redstone tutorials and I thought I was fairly decent at things. This is why I don't make redstone tutorials anymore, because I, this, I can't compete with this. <laughs> Simply no way. Um, my goodness, the guy who created this, what, what, a, what a beautiful genius. And obviously his original video is going to be linked in the description if you want to check it out. And I'm sure he'll be updating uh, on things to come as he continues work on this. But anyway, that's the basic gist of it for walking around the map at the moment. Uh, it's just, I'm on these command blocks and every time that I move over, it presses the pressure plate, then it just teleports me back, centers me again, and, you know, pretty cool. If I look straight down, I can go back into the center here, and, uh, that's not all, though. That's not all. Things are interactive here on, on this thing, so what I can do here, so I can change my game mode, I'm gonna go into, uh, into the build mode over here, game mode 3, and then what I can do is I can start the game again, and I can navigate around this little menu here, right? And I can choose what square I'd like to start placing down. Think of this, it's like, I don't know why my analogy goes to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Park Editor, um, just because that's what I always remember making custom stuff with, but I can go ahead and press space to select this tile, and then it goes into a blank map, and I can actually start putting together a map. I just press space to put the tile down, and then what do you know? I just, I just put a tile down, I can put it down again. And then if I want to, I can simply go back by looking down, then there we go. I can reset the thing so I can choose a different tile. I mean, obviously, you know, it's not the most like super ideal workflow here, but uh, you know, I'm sure he can continue to work on it. And then there we go. We can select another tile, start the game again. Let's grab, uh, let's grab one of these and then there we go. And then I'm back on the map that I was on before putting a different tile down and I can just construct this whole map. There we go. Let's put down some of this. Why don't we? And then you're like, okay, that's all cool, that's fine and dandy, but can I actually play on this, right? Let's do this again, let's just keep on putting tiles down, boom. Keep on putting these tiles down, keep on putting tiles down. All right, great, so that's a fantastic looking map. 
I if I do say so myself. Now I can change my game mode back to game mode one, start the game, and then what do you know? We're just playing on the map that I put together. What? How did you create a map editor in Minecraft on a Game Boy on Pokemon? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I just, I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with you, dude, dude who made this. I just, I don't, I don't know what to do with you on this. It's just, it's, it's too much for my poor little brain to handle, Mr. Raycog, Ray, Rayquag, however you pronounce it. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, you're probably curious just to see what's going on behind the whole Game Boy build screen over here. It's pretty minimal in the way of command block. Well, min I say minimal. <laughs> It's it's still a good good amount of command blocks over here powering this thing, but then we'll just wait until we get behind the screen over here. All right, here we go. Um, yeah. So this whole thing, powered by structure blocks, uh, somehow, somehow. I really wish I could give you more information than that. I really, I really do. I'm sure with with a bit of uh, explanation from the guy who made it, I could kind of grasp the idea as to what's going on. Um, but all of these are in in some way or another. Uh, pasting down the different tiles. Remember structure blocks, whether or not you're familiar with them, they're able to, to store, think of it like a schematic. For those of you familiar with MC Edit, it's just a, a cluster of blocks, and they're able to store it, and then paste it down at will. Um, and so these are being triggered, and then, and then they're being put down on the board in order to display the different tiles. Uh, I'm assuming that's how it's done. Uh, something similar to that. Uh, I just don't know exactly how the arrangement is to, to how they're being powered and all that. Um, but that's um, basically how it's going. This massive, massive array back here is powering the whole display and um, operating Pokemon. Whew. Oh my god. Well, uh, color me impressed. Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Um, I think I'm going to leave it off there, but, uh, you know, if you want to go and check out the, the dude's original video on this thing, it'll be linked in the description. Check it out. Give him lots of love because this is absolutely mental, and uh, I look forward to seeing more updates on it. I'm, I'm really hoping that he'll be able to make some awesome stuff like Pokemon Battles actually work, even though I couldn't begin to know how that would be done. Um, but anyway, I'm going to wind things down there. Make sure to like if you liked. Uh, check out the playlist in the description for more cool commands and stuff like that. Um, and again, this is 1.10 vanilla. You can load it up yourself with, well, very you know, very minimal effort. I just have Optifine here, which is helping the, the chunks load smoother, but uh, again, it's all in vanilla. Uh, so that's all for now. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.